it does occur to me that you have this uh, absolutely fantastic uh, British accent, and occasionally, and I know you've you have lived in the United States now for twenty years. Is that right? Uh-huh. Twenty years, and I have spoken to many actors who've. Uh, transition to the United States and they start to lose their accent, you have not. Do you feel that you have assimilated to being an American? I do think that I have learned, um, I've learned a lot of things as an American. I've learned how to uh, fill a glass of wine all the way to the top, (laughs) that kind of thing. That is yeah. that is what we do. We think nothing of going right up to the rim. Right to the brim. Yeah. Because my Uncle Hank, uh, my American Uncle Hank, tells me, he says, um, filling it halfway causes a wasted journey. So uh, that was very, very <laughs> smart. But the, I will tell you the one thing that I haven't been able to uh, uh, figure out is how to wear a baseball cap. I just, it just doesn't, work on me the whole the whole game's up if i try to wear one i kind of look like um well i kind of look like ron howard's elderly brother or something <laughs> i have one here oh uh, there you go oh yes definite <laughs> you you look like ron howard's brother who's an accountant yes yes that's right. it's just it's just it's just not a look that is uh, ever going to work on me so yeah and and that is something that seems to be kind of mandatory in the United States is that they insist that you wear a baseball cap or everyone has to wear a baseball cap. I don't wear a baseball cap because well, you have, I'm going to compliment you now, you have a very chiseled, lean face. Um, I have the large bloated pumpkin that the Irish are cursed with and when I put a baseball cap on, it only makes my face look fatter. It accentuates the fatness of my face and then I my self-loathing kicks in. So I I don't like it. Um, I I think that you and I should just like knuckle down and start wearing baseball caps. And you know what? I I, I took it off because I was ashamed of. Uh, I was ashamed, but I'm going to wear it. Okay. Well, I I I think it looks terrible. Uh, okay. I'm I... <laughs> uh, well, well, no, because I'm massively shallow. So you said that. Uh-huh. Uh, and, uh, and my my vanity kicked in, so uh, you know. Yeah. Well, I think you you're obviously well dressed. I like your jacket. Is that a motorcycle jacket? Well, is it a motorcycle jacket? I mean, it's like a motorcycle jacket if Dior did a motorcycle jacket. <laughs> but once upon a time, I was wearing a motorcycle jacket. I went. It, it, it was in a bar in Brooklyn. I went into a bar and I sat down to have a drink, and this guy was like. He was very drunk, and he looked at me and went, nice, nice motorcycle jacket. I went, oh, th- thank you so much. And he said, you have a motorcycle? And I went, uh, no. And he went, so why you got a motorcycle jacket? Like this. And I went, you're wearing a baseball hat. Do you, do you, do you play baseball, you bastard? <laughs> <laughs> and that, does that story end with you being beaten very badly? Yes, it ends. It ends with yes. It ends with me being beaten in the kidney. <laughs> Welcome to America. Yeah.